give the output signal for the circuit. So we have the input signals here on the right, 0, 1, and 0. So I'd like to start by writing them on the diagram. So we have 0, 1, and 0. So as uh, the 0 and the 1 pass through the OR gate, OR is going to be 1 as long as one of these is 1. So this one is 1, so we're going to get a 1. The only time the OR gate will produce a 0 is if they're both uh, zeros. Likewise here, um, we have P, which is 0. Right? See how it comes down this way, and it goes into the OR gate. I'm going to go ahead and put a 0 here again so you see it. So you have two zeros here entering the OR gate. That's going to give us a zero. Remember, OR will always be one as long as one of them is one. But if they're both zeros, um, you're going to get a zero. And so now we have a one and a zero entering uh, the AND gate. So the only time AND is going to be one is if they're both one. So here you have a one and a zero. So that's going to give us a zero. Right? So the only time AND will produce a one is if both of them are ones. If you think about it from the perspective of mathematical logic, it might make a little more sense. You know, think of one is true and zero is false. So here you have false and true. At least one is true, so the result is true. Here you have false and false. Remember, if you have false or false, it's always false. Here you have true and false. True and false is always false. The only time uh, you can use and and get true is if both are true. So, so in this case, the output signal is equal to zero. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.